Well, we finally made it. My go-kart's at the farm for the very first time in my life. And I've got something to add to it. Jason from YouTube sent me this, Dave's Farm sticker. So I've got to christen it right now for Dave's Farm. Sweet. Those air scoops make a perfect spot. Awesome, looking good. Now to make it look great. Now it looks great. <laughs> okay, day two, plan B. Took off all the cables, cleaned and fixed the ends as best as we could. Even got screws in there, screws in there, everything possible to try to make good connections. And the one that's most suspicious is this negative one that goes to the engine block to ground because down there is a burned off frame ground so usually when that happens that means that your block is no longer grounding and the starter motor is trying to get some ground through this thinner wire that goes to the frame so I it was pretty rusty there so I'm imagining it was all the rust between the you know the little eyelet and the bolt and the block which we've all filed off now we don't need a body ground to start the vehicle. It may cause weird electrical problems without the body ground elsewhere in the vehicle, but not to see if it starts. So we'll give it a try and see if it's done. Well, fixed right this time. All right, here she goes. I won't even bother with the glow plugs. I'll just see if it cranks. Same thing. What the? Well, I got one more place to put some screws. Well, the last place I didn't meddle with was where the wire went into the battery terminal for the negative. So I've got some screws in there and a vice grip to help bolt it to the, like, the stud that's coming out of the battery. So we'll try again. Man, what a piece of, you know what. That was it. Huh. Okay. Let's um, stand back and film this. It's still recording. Just stand back far enough. No, actually stand. Let's see. Yeah, stand right here. Okay. It's recording. Just point at the motor. Well, this will be the first start since... 2010, that's for sure, and it hasn't been running since we pushed Pug's motor home. Now I gotta move the plugs back to the Waiting for the warm up. Here we go. Let me wiggle that vice grip. Final solution, got a roll of wire, I'm going to crawl underneath and hook my piece of wire to that burned off ground body wire. And since it's too hard to reconnect it back down there to the frame, I'm going to run it all the way up here to this solenoid. I just realized this is a dual solenoid vehicle, there's one on the starter motor and there's one here. Well since the body isn't grounding, this one's doing the rapid clicking, causing the one on the starter to do the rapid clicking. At least that's what I think, so let's see what's going to happen. I'll just run that ground wire that's down there and ground the solenoid out up here. And there's my new wire, now the other end. Well, my wire is securely attached to the ground point of that solenoid. Now we're here to see what's happening. I think we're in luck. 
No way! It's still doing it! I don't get this is impossible! I know what's going on. Alright, she's cranking a bit, but not perfect. We're gonna see what's gonna happen. We got the battery of the New Yorker now and it's partially charged. So wait for glow plugs. Try something else. The middle. Okay, we finally discovered the problem is a defective solenoid, even though it's only one year old. Hardly been used. So if I bypass the solenoid with this booster cable, it seems like it's going to start. So you have to go in there, turn turn the key. Is the key off or on right now? It's off. Turn the key on. On the right, you see a little red light that says "Please wait." Yeah. Or wait. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see yeah. that light yet? Yep. Yeah. Okay. As soon as that light goes out. Hold, hold your foot down halfway on the clutch. No, on the gas. On the gas. Okay. And crank until it, it starts. All right. If, 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 if it doesn't it. start, I'll tell you to stop and wait and try again. Yep. And then once it starts, it won't keep idling by itself. You have to hold it at about 1,500 RPM all the time. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. Turn key on. Tell me when the light goes off. Lights on right now. It's off. Tell me what goes off. It's off. <laughs> okay, stop. Did you have the gas held down halfway? Yep. Okay. Turn key off. Okay, turn it back on again. Tell me when the light goes off. Okay, I will. Waiting for the light and uh, off. <laughs> No? Alright. Okay, try again. Tell me when the light goes off. Okay, and it's... machines. Yeah. I know how to get it going. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. Well let's let her warm up for a while. 